Hi, I'm James Dean, team leader of Jamesy Mountain Homes team. Welcome to your local market update for October of 2024. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James E. Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. Uh, and we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel, so please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 Five. You can text us to that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net. Please, whatever you got to do to get those questions to us, please ask. We're here to help. We're here to provide value to you and helping you make informed decisions, whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here. We are local experts of this area and we love this area. So please, please, please reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video. Today, we'll go over the latest real estate statistics for Teller County and El Paso County, as well as discuss the impact of recent Federal Reserve actions and the upcoming elections on market dynamics. In Teller County for the month of September 2024, we saw a total of 397 active listings with 64 homes sold during the month. The average sales price was $532,809 and homes spent an average of 87 days in the market. The months of inventory stood at 6.2 months. Interestingly, we experienced a year-over-year -year appreciation of 6.2% when comparing September 2023 to September 2024. This appreciation alongside a decrease in months of inventory compared to previous months suggests a slight shift toward a more balanced market. However, However, with 6.2 months of inventory, Teller County still remains in a buyer's market. The longer days on market indicate that buyers continue to have more options and negotiating power. Turning to El Paso County for September of 2024, we had a total of 3,582 active listings, with 855 homes sold during the month. The average sale price in El Paso was $513,153, and properties were on the market for an average of 46 days. The months of inventory stood at 4.2 months. This month, El Paso County County experienced a year-over-year -year depreciation of 3% in home values, with inventory levels at 4.2 months. The market leans toward a balanced state, but still has some seller-friendly aspects. However, the decrease in home values and the longer days on market signal a softening market, which may be making some buyers more cautious. In a significant move, the Federal Reserve cut interest rates by 50 basis points during its September 2024 meeting, bringing the federal funds rate down to a range of 4.75% and 5%. That's according to JP Morgan. This was the first rate cut in four years and represents a strategic shift by the Fed to support economic stability as inflation nears their target of 2%. Fed Chair Jerome Powell emphasized that future rate decisions will be data-driven and made on a meeting-by-meeting -meeting basis. The Fed has also signaled that additional rate cuts could be on the horizon before the end of the year. This rate cut has already started to influence mortgage rates, which have been declining, potentially making home buying more affordable. If the Federal Reserve continues to cut rates, we could see mortgage rates drop further, which might stimulate market activity. This could particularly impact the buyer's market in Teller County and help balance the market in El Paso County. In addition to the influence of interest rates, uncertainty surrounding the upcoming elections continues to make some buyers cautious. Many buyers are taking a wait and see approach until they have more clarity on potential policy changes post-election. This caution combined with the recent Fed rate cut may be building up buyer pressure that could release the coming months, leading to increased market activity. These insights highlight the ongoing shifts in market dynamics in both Teller County and El Paso County. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, understanding these trends can help you make more informed decisions in the coming months. If you have any questions or need assistance navigating the current market, please please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help you every step of the way. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next month with more updates. 
This is the James Dean Mountain Homes team. And remember, we are your local mountain real estate experts. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button, that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You could text us at that number as well, or you can email us at info at jdmret.net, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you, and we look forward to helping you soon.